I think it's fair to say that Arsenal are the laughing stock of the Premier League right now. I have no reservations about saying that. You've really got to feel sorry for the fans. Hi, I'm Daniel Raza, the presenter of the Sports Lounge on 93.5 Unity FM and online on www.unityfm.net. You can follow me on Twitter at dhraza. You can follow the show uh, at Sports Lounge 935. I'll have all the information on the uh, video description below. Now, I'm going to do a video today on Arsenal. I know that they have been in the news so much and in fact they've been in the media more for not making any transfer business rather than being linked to players and making transfer business. Uh, they have had one of the worst transfer windows I have heard of in a long, long time, especially considering all the other teams around them are spending so much money. They really have to question, what is Arsene Wenger doing in the transfer market? It's pretty clear to everybody, it's clear daylight, that Arsenal needs to sign a holding midfielder and another attacker. They lost 3-1 at home to Aston Villa last week and there was gaping holes in that midfield. Now, what I'd suggest is perhaps that you could sign somebody like Gareth Barry, uh, a holding midfielder, somebody maybe like Tom Huddleston who's already moved, somebody like Scott Parker who's already gone. Now, I'm just naming names, people who could play in that position. I know Tom Huddleston probably wouldn't be uh, a big name or whatever. He wouldn't work for Arsenal anyway, but you know what I'm trying to say here. They really did need a holding midfielder. and. They're playing Jack Wilshire in a role which he really is not going to excel in, let's be fair. Now, he's not exactly the strongest of players, I mean in terms of, you know, being built and whatnot. He's not exactly the strongest, is he? Let's be fair. Uh, he's an attacking midfielder, he's a good attacking midfielder. And Arsenal have some good attacking midfielders. I would say they need another... I'd say the priority is the holding midfielder role, which Arsene Wenger really hasn't been able to strengthen. Not that he's been able to strengthen in any other area of the team. I mean, yes, and Yaya said, uh, fair play to him, he signed a uh, French under-21 international, but uh, let's put it into perspective. How is that going to help Arsenal during the course of the season? Now, I've got a tweet in from an Arsenal fan, Naeem Abir. He says, Wenger can't have handled can't handle transfers. The only reason we signed the caliber of players like Sol Campbell from Spurs was because of David Dean. That's him off Twitter. So, there's an opinion from Arsenal fan, Arsene Wenger, Arsene Wenger cannot handle the transfers and from what I've seen so far, he doesn't really seem to know what he's doing. But hey, he has been quoted as saying that it's uh, very difficult to sign players and you've got to get quality over quantity now. That's a fair point. However, the squad depth of Arsenal is slowly but surely decreasing because to be honest with you, they're getting more and more players injured. I think they've got the Marlin out, uh, the Ox is out. And that's going to seriously, uh, seriously hurt them this season. I had high expectations for, for the start of the season. I was thinking, well, hang on a second, they're getting linked with Gonzalo Higuain. This is fantastic. Arsenal have £70 million pounds to spend, uh, supposedly. They're being linked to Gonzalo Higuain, being linked to Marouane Fellaini. They're even linked to Wayne Rooney. And I, I think everybody was linked to Wayne Rooney at one point this season, but... I think everybody was linked to Wayne Rooney at some point this transfer window, but what I'm trying to say is... Why have they been linked to so many fantastic players and yet not been able to sign any? It's because Arsenal won't pay above their evaluation of the player. Now, sounds fair enough, but in this day and age, in this inflated market, you kind of have to overpay the odds just a little bit if a player is not transfer listed. Last couple of days, I'll just quickly mention these because I don't want to make this video too long. Yohan Kabai, we put a bid in for him. It was rejected straight off. £10 million is a little bit insulting for Newcastle's main playmaker. Uh, I think. They've also uh, been rumoured to be putting in a bid for Ike Casillas. He's actually number two at uh, Real Madrid in terms of goalkeeping positions because it looks like he's the he's gone down the pecking order. Now, he's still one of the best keepers in the world. Just doesn't seem to be playing. And uh, fair on Arsenal for putting in a bid if they if they are going to do that because Washiak Chesney doesn't seem to be doing his job. I, I saw him last week against Aston Villa and he just sort of decided he wanted to be an outfield player every now and then. I think he ran out so many times, <laughs> I'm not sure if he knew what he was doing in terms of his positioning. But, there's real gaps in Arsenal's midfield as well, and that's something they really need to fill. I still think there's time for him, but we'll have to wait and see now. £70 million to spend, and yet just the one signing. Seems a bit fishy with me. I'm sure there's plenty of other stuff that's happening, but we don't know, we didn't see it. Uh, I've been Dan Raza. You can listen to me this Saturday on the Sports Lounge, my radio show, which I 
have a co-host for and that is Henry James and follow our show at Sports Lounge 935. Join me again on YouTube sometime. Thanks for watching and I'll continue making these football videos. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below.